Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. I regret giving amnesty to bandits, the northern governor has stated. The Katsina state governor, Amino Masari, has expressed regret for giving bandits amnesty in his state. Stating that he was wrong to have believed that they repented years back. He spoke during a Chinese television TV interview saying that the amnesty he granted bandits in 2016 should never have happened. The only thing I say is with the benefits of hindsight. I wouldn't have done it because at that time, when we started in 2016, there were leaders. But gradually, all the leaders were eliminated. That was the failure of the first round, he said. Lamenting so much, he said, I regretted giving amnesty to these bandits. In 2016, the governor granted amnesty to bandits and in 2019 announced that no security agent should attack or kill bandits and cattle rustlers, insisting that they should be allowed to go about their normal businesses. Lamenting the recent killings and kidnappings in the state, Aminu Masari said, that since most of the bandits' leaders have been, had been eliminated, there was no way to curtail their activities through negotiation. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as the well? You can see now, you can hear it for yourself. This is what is going on. Why give, you know, amnesty to this bandit and this is what Sheikh Ahmed Gumi is championing that they should be given um, amnesty just like the uh, militants, Niger Delta militants and one would wonder if these uh, people you know who are speaking from the same mouth how would you say you know bandits who are killing people, raping people doing all sorts should be given amnesty. What the Niger Delta guys were fighting for was actually their areas to be developed and it is very very different from what these bandits are doing. The Niger Delta um, militants were not collecting ransom but these guys are collecting ransom, heavy ransom. The Niger Delta militants were not kidnapping school children but bandits are kidnapping school children. So how do you reconcile these things? How do you reconcile these things? The Niger Delta militants were not kidnapping, you know, people in their churches. They were not going to secondary schools, universities to kidnap students or what have you. No. They were only kidnapping oil workers, expatriates. But the bandits are kidnapping both travelers they are killing anybody, they don't care, they kill anybody, school children, students, university students, colleges of, colleges of education students, pupils in secondary schools, or students in secondary schools, I beg your pardon. They go into villages, communities, and they shoot sporadically just to kill people. The question is, those who are even kidnapped, 
they collect ransom. Sometimes after collecting ransom, they even kill their victims. The question is, who tolerates that? Who does that? Despite the warnings that the governors should not give, you know, amnesty to these terrorists, they refuse to listen because they claim to be their brother's keeper. They are, they are also fellow Fulanese and all what have you. But look at what we have today. The shocking part is that even the so-called Amek Sheikh Gumir is still up to now championing the cause for these guys to be allowed to operate freely. He has even gone ahead to say that they should be a ministry should be created for them. What an imprudence. It tells you that they think we are just jokers in this part of the world. We that are in the south, they think we are jokers. They want to take over the country. They want to make the country ungovernable and all that. In as much as we understand that this was the seed that was sown by these, you know, northern leaders. But right now as it is, it is not just only the north that is suffering it. Indirectly, the south is also suffering it. How can the governor come out on national TV and be telling us that he regretted when he was warned? Severally, by you know, so many top uh, Nigerians, many people want against giving uh, uh, amnesty to these bandits because they are terrorists. They even stopped calling them terrorists and you know, degraded the name to to bandits. But yet, still, look at what is happening. It tells you that you know, they missed it from the onset. Now, how do you recover that money? The fact that their leaders were killed is not an excuse. A bandit is a bandit. A terrorist is a terrorist. Take it or leave it any day, any time, anywhere. Now, those that were uh, that claimed to have repented, that were, uh, were, were were indoctrinated into the Nigerian army, the question is, where are they today? They would be those to sabotage this country. Don't forget what happened in America. 9-11 situation and all that but it's as if we do not have foresight in this country and that continues to haunt us it is really really unfortunate if you ask me it is sad I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong but there is fire on the mountain well guys drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.